Can the Google Pixel 7 Pro beat the mighty Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra? Google Pixel 7 Pro's Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is a showdown between two excellent Android flagship phones, although they achieve this flagship status through different means. Samsung's supersized flagship is the current top contender, with a comprehensive package that combines a top-notch display with a fabulously flexible camera system, competitive performance, and a unique S Pen stylus. It doesn't get better than this, or does it? Can Google overturn its rival and occasional partner? After a promising start with 2021's Pixel 6 Pro, any significant improvement certainly has the potential to make Samsung sweat over its dominant position. The Google Pixel 7 Pro, the newer of our two contenders, goes all in on software smarts in typical Google fashion, while also making sure it provides staple features like a fast display refresh rate and three rear cameras. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, however, offers even more hardware toys with a larger display, a second telephoto camera, and a stylus. But as a result, the Samsung phone costs a lot even for a flagship device. The Pixel 7 Pro features a 6.7-inch display, which is slightly smaller than the 6.8-inch panel on the S22 Ultra. Both are punchy OLEDs with QHD Plus resolutions and 120Hz refresh rates, so it's largely all square for all the key screen specs. There is a slight difference with that 120Hz refresh rate, however. While both are variable, the Galaxy S22 Ultra can drop right down to 1Hz where appropriate, whereas the Pixel 7 Pro can only drop to 10Hz. It's a small point, but it means Samsung's display is more energy efficient. That's a good job because the Galaxy S22 Ultra can get quite a bit brighter than the Pixel 7 Pro. We're talking 1,750 nits peak brightness for the Samsung, compared to 1,500 nits on the Pixel 7 Pro. While the Galaxy S22 Ultra appears to have the slight edge in the display department, we really are talking about a few minor advantages here and there. These are likely to be two of the best smartphone displays on the market, so this probably shouldn't be used as a metric for deciding between the two. While Samsung has the advantage in hardware, Google traditionally has the better algorithms and image processing chops. Its color science also tends to be cooler and crisper, while Samsung's is warmer. Neither is what you call natural, exactly. At least on the hardware front, the Galaxy S22 Ultra's cameras dominate the Pixel 7 Pro's. The Pixel still has some impressive specs, offering 50-megapixel main, 12-megapixel ultra-wide, and 48-megapixel 5X optical telephoto camera suite on the back and a 10.8-megapixel selfie camera on the front. But the Galaxy S22's 108-megapixel main, 12-megapixel ultra-wide, 10-megapixel 3 at optical zoom, 10-megapixel 10 at optical zoom, and 40-megapixel selfie cameras promise much more flexibility. But there's still a chance the Pixel 7 Pro could come out on top with overall photo quality. Google's photo processing software is some of the best in the business, so even if it can't match the resolution or zoom range of the Galaxy, we may still end up preferring the shots it produces. Google has learned some new tricks with the Pixel 7 Pro thanks to its Tensor D2 chip. Night sight shots can shoot twice as quickly as before, while Photo Unblurred looks to be a faintly magical addition that can sharpen up blurry shots, even those not taken on the Pixel. Pixel 7 Pro runs on Google's new Tensor G2 chipset, which is a relatively minor improvement over the Pixel 6 Pro's Tensor G1. Itself, not exactly the fastest chip on the block. The Galaxy S22 Ultra, on the other hand, runs on Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. For raw CPU and GPU performance, it's flat out faster. Of course, UK and Australia customers get Samsung's own Exynos 2200, which doesn't have quite the same performance edge but still outclasses the Pixel's chip. One thing both the Snapdragon and Exynos lack compared to the Tensor D2 is Google's machine learning special sauce. This enables such unique functions as real-time speech transcription, supernaturally clear voice calls, and that magical photo deblurring technique. Google also claims that the new processor is more energy efficient than before. It's built to a 4 num standard, but that's the same as both Galaxy S22 Ultra chips. Both of these supersized phones supply a 5000 mAh battery, which is almost par for the course for modern flagship Android phones. The Tensor G2-powered 7 Pro does thankfully outperform its predecessor, which didn't enjoy amazing stamina. It wasn't exactly problematic, but we found that the phone would struggle to make it through a day of heavy usage. As per Google's claims, the 7 Pro can hit 24 hours of usage in normal conditions, 
and up to 72 hours with its updated Extreme Battery Saver Mode. Of course, the Galaxy S22 Ultra doesn't have particularly impressive stamina either. Much like the Pixel 6 Pro, it could get us through a day of mixed usage, but not much more. Both phones give you wireless charging on top of the usual wired offering. Neither manufacturer gives you a charger in the box, but Samsung does at least support up to 45 watt wired charging, while Google's phone only stretches to 30 watt. The Pixel 7 Pro and the Galaxy S22 Ultra are both Android phones, but go about it in different ways. Google launched Android 13 at the same time as the Pixel 7 series, and it's in its least modified state on the Pixel 7 Pro. Meanwhile, the One UI 4 skin of Android 12 that Samsung uses is altered in all sorts of ways that give the Galaxy S22 Ultra a very different user experience, although one built on the same foundations. Google is offering three years of Android upgrades for the Pixel 7 Pro, meaning you'll get up to Android 16 with no problem. Samsung offers a slightly better four years of full updates for the Galaxy S22 Ultra, but because it launched with Android 12, it too should end with Android 16. Part of the Pixel 7 Pro's appeal is its inclusion of all sorts of neat software additions that other Android phones don't offer. That includes camera-related abilities like photo unblur or guided frame or more general things like the upcoming clear calling feature or returning favorites like Live Translate. Samsung's main bonus selling point for the Galaxy S22 Ultra is the included S Pen stylus, which now comes built-in like the old Galaxy Note models. This lets you more easily draw and take notes on the phone or remote control some features like the camera. Samsung has created one of the best phones of 2022 in the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which leaves Google with plenty to do with its Pixel 7 Pro. It gets off to a great start in undercutting its rival by hundreds of dollars slash pounds, not to mention a classy refresh of the Pixel 6 Pro design template. With that being said, Google has made a number of small improvements to its display, power, design, and camera system, which could be enough to draw it level or even push it above the Galaxy S22 Ultra in the eyes of potential buyer. So, what do you guys think about these handsets? Let me know it down in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.